Okay, today we have a lesson on the two-handed backhand. I want to welcome our main man, Elias, is back. The man with the great two-hander. So he's going to demo that for you today. One of my subscribers said, hey, Tom, do some tips on the two-handed backhand. So Elias and I are trying to keep our, our six-foot distancing here. But Elias, feel free to go right into it. Talk about things that have helped you develop your two-handed. Sure, okay. So the first tip I want to offer is really focusing on preparing early. Too often we see players, the ball is coming and they kind of prepare last minute. So my tip for you is, as soon as you see the ball coming, boom, your racket goes back, you're in a good ready position. And I'm turning here my upper body, my shoulder, so you can see here, my upper, my chin is almost touching my right shoulder. So I'm in a good loaded position. And then number two, tip number two is for the feet. We want to have a nice wide base. So from that wide base, we can generate much more power. And then as we hit shift our weight forward, focusing on contacting the ball all the way in front of our body extending, making our arms long, and then coming over the shoulder while engaging the left hand a lot. Thinking of the shot as being led and being guided by our left hand. I like that point, Elias, you made about the uh, making our arms long. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so too often we see players, they try to follow through. They're thinking but then about maybe the windshield. Only right the up. follow through. So now they're following through here and a lot of their back ends are going into the net or kind of to or, the right or out short. or very short because yeah. they're not getting the extension that happens from us hitting in front, lengthening, pushing our weight forward and then like I said, show them, over show them the a shoulder. side view on that. So say you were hitting the ball that way. Okay. So you see here, the ball is coming. I'm getting ready. I'm split stepping. I'm preparing early. You can see here, I got a good shoulder turn, good wide base. And then as I'm hitting, I'm shifting my weight forward. And then I follow through over the shoulder. The ball is coming, split turn the upper body, I'm stepping in. You see here, I got my white base. Elias, do me a favor. Yeah. Go to the contact point for a second. There, right now, here. At this point, you mm -hmm. want to extend your arms. Exactly, right? you're contacting here, you're extending, going long, 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 and then you're coming over the shoulder. Like that, you're going to get more power as well as a lot of depth on your yeah. shot, yeah. which yeah. is really important for the back end. Keep pushing your opponent long developing the stable back end you can rely on nice and what about the legs how do they come into play especially if the ball is low right you've got to yeah, if the ball is low we gotta yeah. use our legs to come under the ball yeah. so you see here i'm going in the knees if the ball is low coming there under the ball and then lifting forward and a little bit i like that up. i like the fact that he mentioned lifting because you don't want to stay down. Sometimes you, you may have to do that if it's real fast. Mm -hmm. But um, if you can lift, it's going to be better because you're going to you're going to get more height over the net, more depth. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Elias is going to demo that for us. All right, let's All right. do it. Okay, let's take a look here in slow motion. Elias has very good preparation, racket preparation. He starts to turn the shoulders as he's getting in position. Okay, right here you're going to see he's looking over his right shoulder. The racket is well prepared. Now he's going to drop the racket down and start to lean into the shot. The weight is transferring to the front leg. Right now the racket is below the ball. That's going to give him net clearance. Now his arms are extending. That gives you power and it also keeps the ball on your target area. 
Finish, great finish over the shoulder, the weight transferred to the right leg. Very well done. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Again, great preparation. As he's moving into position, his shoulders are turning. Right there, he's looking over that right shoulder. Now, this ball is low, so you're going to see how well he bends on this shot. Right there, he drops the racket down. Now, notice the knee on his rear leg, how much he's dropped that down. The racket face is closed. That gives him a vertical racket at contact. And notice how he lifted with his legs. His legs came back up, finish over the shoulder. Great job again. All right, as you could see there, even on the short ball, really focusing on moving to the ball in a ready position when the ball is low you want to use your legs to come under the ball use now your left hand to spin the ball and then lift it up going for a good offensive backhand Okay, let's take a look again here in slow motion. Now notice as Elias gets in position, he starts to turn the shoulders and get the racket back. Now he's coming up on this ball, it's a short ball, and notice how he is looking over the right shoulder, okay? Now he's stepping in too with his right foot. Right there, the racket face is closed, and notice that rear leg, how low it is. From here, he's going to drive through with his left hand. Notice how his arms are extended. That gives him power and helps him to hit the ball in the direction he's aiming for. The finish again is great. Notice how he lifted totally. His front leg has come up and the racket is over the shoulder. Well done. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. It's great to have Elias back. And what a great job. Nice hitting. Thank Very you. Good. Thank yeah. you. You know, I remember one extra tip. Okay. If you're there working on your backhand and you feel that sometimes when we're working on a new shot, I find that players tend to overthink it. So if you're the player who's overthinking the backhand, I would encourage you to pick one of the things we covered today and really work on dialing that part in, whether it's your stance yeah. or your contact point, picking that one thing, getting good at it, and then adding another thing. Perfect. Great job, Elias. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like and a thumbs up. That really helps us a lot. All the best. Take care.